What's up, everybody? It's going in here. The lighting is bad. Let's see. Let's see if I can fix that. Okay, that's a little better. Check this out. I've got my laptop. It's a ThinkPad T480. It's really a fingerprint magnet. The reviews were saying that. Um, I don't think I've ever owned anything that's like actually a fingerprint magnet. Um, maybe the stainless steel sides on my iPhone, but I just put a case over it. Like, I, you know, everything that would be considered a fingerprint magnet, I don't really think about. But this laptop is crazy. You can see it. Like, you, like it's matte. Like, you wouldn't expect a matte material to attract so many fingerprints, but it does. Um, it's a ThinkPad T480, and it's got a Lenovo logo sort of embossed there. You can feel it, definitely. Um, it's got, this is ThinkPad right there. Um, the eye on the Think uh, lights up, and I think that's very cool. It uh, lights up when it's on. Um, this is the bottom, um, and this laptop was released in 2018, so that's, uh, this laptop was released five years ago, and it has a replaceable battery. It has this thing called Power Bridge, and there's a great YouTube video on it. You can look up ThinkPad T480 Power Bridge, um, and basically, it, it's more of a review of the laptop, not a video about Power Bridge, but, um, not only is there this ba this battery here, there's also an internal battery inside of the laptop. And um, the crazy thing about that is it means that when you are at 0% and you need to charge your battery, if you bring an extra battery with you, you can actually swap it out and replace it with that battery at 100% without even turning off your computer. Because whenever you take out this battery with, the, with this switch and that switch, it... Um, it automatically switches to the internal battery. So it's like you're able to hot swap batteries without even turning the laptop off. Um, there are the signature metal hinges that are a different color from the rest of the um, uh, laptop, which is always fun. Um, on the side, we have a um, uh, headphone jack, USB port, HDMI, USB port, ethernet, SD card. I don't think, I think I, I, I don't think I've had a laptop with an SD card slot. The only laptops I've had are like 10 year old Dell business laptops. Um, and then here we have a Thunderbolt and another Thunderbolt. And this one's kind of, like this one, it like, like there's a, okay, I, I actually have no idea what this is. Um, I think this, hold on. Um, I gotta be honest, I haven't charged it since I got it. And it came with this charger and I haven't even looked at the charger. Do you see that? There's something happening to my light. Weird. Um, yeah, so this charger is USB-C, but it has like a brick attached to it. I don't know how that works, actually. Um, okay, I actually don't know how, how, the, how this works. But, um, uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then if I open it up, you can't open it with one finger because it's not a stupid laptop. Well, it's not like, it's not a super, super, like, opening it with one finger is sort of a benchmark that a lot of, like, really stupid, nice premium laptops have. Um, you can't do that here, but also, you know, it's kind of an arbitrary measurement unless you have some sort of impairment issue. Um, yeah, we got um, a really nice keyboard here. Um, ThinkPad keyboards are, like, really particularly nice. Um, there's this video on YouTube of this guy talking about like why Linux users love ThinkPads and uh, You know no shade to this guy, but um He's like oh you could just feel it and then he like brings the keyboard up to the microphone and then he just Like this just sounds like a laptop keyboard like I don't I don't know what I don't know why he was bringing it to the microphone um, but yeah, it's a it's a it's a pretty nice keyboard relative to other laptops. It has pretty good key travel um, on older ThinkPads, there's like a classic seven row keyboard um, that has a little bit more travel and it's not a uh, chiclet design, which means that there isn't space. You can see it, that, which means that there isn't space in between each of the keys. There's like no space between them. And it's like designed a little better and there's like a little more um, travel. Um, 
the FN key is in the corner, which is a little strange, uh, but you know, I was expecting it. I, I knew that about the T480. Um, there's also a setting in the BIOS to swap the two if you want. Um, they swap the functionality. I mean, you can't really take out the key cap, I don't think. But yeah, FN key, then control key, which is a little strange, but you know, people can deal with that. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Um, it's got the track point. I need to get into the track point. Honestly, this is a really nice track pad. <laughs> so, I, you know, I don't know. Um, what else? Uh, oh, it's got a fingerprint reader. Some of them don't come with... Ooh, there you go. Some of them don't come with fingerprint readers. I wanted one with a fingerprint reader because I didn't want to have to type in my password all the time. Um, but honestly, if I'm using sudo all the time, I'm going to be typing in my password. Could I use... I, I can't see why not. I bet I could use... Um, I, I, bet, I bet I can use my fingerprint with sudo. I, I actually have no idea if that's possible. It might not be possible. I don't know. I, I need to look into that. But, um, yeah, the T480 is really nice. I'm going to get Arch on it. Um, there's, a, there's a window sticker down here, but, you know, that's, that's a lie. Um, I'm going to get Arch with i3, the, the meme combo, right? I really want to try out BSPWM because um, it's, uh, it's dynamic. Let me... Actually, God, I, I'm like 99% sure it's dynamic, but, um, okay, I, I, I think it's dynamic, um, yeah, I really I want to try out BSPW, but um, honestly, i3 is working really, really well for me. I really like i3, um, so you know, um, it just it feels weird doing the meme thing and having the meme thing work. You know, I guess it wouldn't be a meme if it wasn't popular, and it wouldn't be popular if it wasn't like a good combination. Um, I really like Arch with i3. I think it's you know there's a reason why it's so popular. Um, I gotta switch away from Polybar though. Polybar kind of freaks me out. Um, Polybar has this weird, like, module system, um, which I don't really like interacting with. Um, something like Lemon Bar just has, like, you would just run scripts in the bar. Um, and that seems a little, like, I don't, I don't know why Polybar has modules. You know, I bet there's a reason why, but I don't see why it couldn't just run stuff in the bar. You know, like, like, just have the output be in the bar. I don't know. I, I don't know enough about it to, like, have an educated opinion on it. But, um... Yeah, I'm gonna run my little my little system on here. Oh, something really cool about the T480. I don't know if it's a T480 specific thing or, or what, but it's got a little it's got a little privacy protector. Oh no, why are you blurred? It's got a little privacy protector in the um. Whoa. What is happening? What is happening? Okay, it's got a privacy protector in the webcam, so you can like have privacy. You, you know what I'm saying, um, even if you can't see it. Um, it's got that in there. What else? Um, man, that's pretty much it. The bezels are relatively thin, but that's just because I haven't had a new laptop. Oh, I turned it on. Whoops. It's going to go into the, the Windows startup now. Um, well, the Windows install, because it comes with Windows. Um, what else? Um, okay, I think, I think that's it. Um, Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, see you, dude.